Hi, Travel Family. Welcome to part two of our Disneyland series. On this episode of American Travel Family, we're headed to a galaxy far, far away. And we're going to show you all about Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Stay tuned as we fly the Millennium Falcon, join the Resistance and escape from the First Order, explore the Black Spire Outpost, joke around with Stormtroopers, and get out of this world refreshments at Oga's Cantina. And as mentioned in our first Disneyland episode, we are traveling with four families and 15 people. So before we get started, let's introduce you to our Disney fam that is going on this adventure with us. There's me, Brooke, and our son Parker. There's Damon, my best buddy and college roommate, and his wife, Danelle, who's also Brooke's best friend and college roommate. Damon's brother, Daniel, his wife, Julie, and Damon's cousin, Bobby, and his wife, Carrie. And that wraps it up for the grown-ups. Now on to the rest of the kids. Our daughter, Mackenzie, Damon and Danelle's two sons, Andrew and Austin, and Bobby and Carrie's three daughters, Avery, Harper, and Taryn. Okay, that's everyone. You got all that? Oh my God. We're in at Galaxy's Edge, and this is our favorite part to walk through. All right, let's go. Let's go. Star Wars, baby. <laughs> As we walk into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, we are immediately transported to the planet Batu and to a remote outpost on the Galaxy's Edge. Disney did such a great job with the details in this park, and we could literally spend the entire day here. And actually, we kind of do. This area here has all sorts of shops and vendors where you can find some really cool Star Wars souvenirs and also some Planet Batu inspired food snacks. However, there is only one place where you can get the best Star Wars souvenirs and artifacts like lightsabers and clothes. So let's check it out. All right, so we're going into my favorite store, which is in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's called the Den of Antiquities. Woo, let's go. Oh, that's it. <laughs> So much cool stuff in here. This is a walker. Oh, it's a Yoda's little walker. Yes. And the coolest thing they have here are replica lightsabers. Kinsey, what rare color did you get? I got the black kyber crystal from one of these. Her oh, first no. try. Her first try, and they're so rare. Brooke, are you gonna get some Princess Leia hair? A royalty I, I wig? This one right here. You should rock that. And then now. Oh, actually, that is the super cool. It's cool. I know. And look at the back. Is that not cool? Yeah, that is really cool. That is awesome. It actually feels pretty good to drink. I kind of like it. I don't know. Ken's got a black carpet for some months. Yes. All right, let's go walk by the uh, Millennium Falcon and go meet up with everybody. So right behind me is the Millennium Falcon and the home of the ride Smuggler's Run, which is one of my favorite rides. To the right is Oga's Cantina, and it's the only place in Disneyland where you can get a, an adult beverage, and it's super cool in there. <laughs> it was really good, actually. <laughs> the only place where you can get adult beverages, and they have a ton of cool kid beverages as well. And you can see how Boba is really made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right, what now are we doing? we're gonna get blue milk, and it's so good. Parker, what color are you gonna get? Uh, blue. Blue, all right, there we go. After Parker got his blue milk, he had the fun idea of trying to offer it to Kylo Ren. 
<laughs> what do you say? You didn't want any blue milk? No. No, I understand. Come on now. That was funny. She told you to shush and stop. How is the blue milk? It's the greatest tasting thing in the galaxy, and Kyla Ren did not want any blue milk. He looked away. Since Kyla Ren didn't want any blue milk, Parker thought he'd ask the stormtroopers. <laughs> Parker is a huge Star Wars fan, and he had just one more question. Well, are you clever? <laughs> hey, what'd you ask him? Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? And what's that a reference from? It's the first time Princess Leia sees Luke Skywalker. Ah, and what did he say to you? Well, that's clever. <laughs> that's funny. All right, these stormtroopers are super awesome because you can interact with them and they are super witty. All right, it's a good show. Cool. Let's go. All right, let's go meet up with everybody. Right. We are leaving Galaxy's Edge, which is my favorite. Oh, I think all of our favorite yes. park. It is no, so cool in there. The original Disney. Okay, the original park. Disney. Yes, but anyway, you just saw Parker interacting with the stormtroopers. That's a lot of fun. And then the Rise of the Resistance, which we were gonna ride, is currently broke down. So we're gonna go find something else to do, right. and then head back. So this is intermission time, taking a break, sitting on the sidewalk, eating Mickey pretzels and ice cream bars. Mickey pretzels. Good. Can I have a bite? No. It's not nice. Brooke, let's see it. What did you end up getting? I got. A frozen banana, oh keeping God. it classic. <laughs> That's old school. Uh -huh. They they freeze them in dry ice, so they yeah. say you gotta wait like five minutes for them to thaw out. You do all of the frozen stuff. So do not break your teeth off. I'm yeah, still waiting for hard. my Mickey Mouse sandwich. I'm excited. So I it's want some so of Parker's cute. pretzel. Yeah. No man. We didn't rest long because we soon heard that Rise of the Resistance opened back up. So we hurried on over. We are in Galaxy's Edge. We are going to Rise of the Resistance since you just opened back up. See you know where smugglers run in? When the ride shut down, most of the crowd cleared out of line. So we're trying to hurry over there and beat the rush before everyone gets back. Oh, okay. Are you giving a tour? Yes, I'm giving a tour. Of Galaxy's Edge. Seven dollars an hour. No more, no less. Plus tip and taxes. So we're so Rise of the Resistance just opened back up. So we're running back with all the kids to try and get in line. It's the way it goes sometimes. We beat most of the crowd back, but we still had to wait in line about 40 minutes. Luckily, the kids can always entertain themselves. Finally, it's on to the ride. Our commanders will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Line on and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Polter. This is more of an experience than a ride. The props and characters are so amazing. And we don't want to spoil it for anyone, so we'll just give you a sneak peek. <laughs> Take those towel lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, I go for the prisoners. This does not look good. Try to find another way down to the escape ports. Our brains, but ultimately hopeless. There's no way to run.
awesome. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, the same thing happened to me. I got stuck. Alright, that was Brooke's first time on Rise of the Wrist. What did you think? Oh my, that was so amazing. That, I think that's my new favorite Disney ride. Oh, Actually, she sold. I am. Hey, that's Mom's new favorite ride. That was the best ride I totally <laughs> I, I didn't know. She had no really idea. Told me how good it was. Going to be in everyone Why do you think we all it. wanted to do it? I Wait in line for an hour. No, I, but nobody told me. But that was even better. <laughs> Oh, it was so Last time we were here and we read this ride, like when it was I first love, open, I, I, and um, Disney World, there was there's a different part in Disney World that yeah, wasn't it's in a this. little different. I think it was when Kylo Ren comes with the ship. Yeah. So you can see how amped up we all are. That is definitely one of the best ride experiences in Disneyland. So it's definitely worth the wait. So we were on that ride and Kenzie got interrogated. Yeah. What did she ask you? I don't know. I couldn't hear her. She's she like, asked why did you join the resistance? Why did you join the resistance? I didn't know what to say, so I just said, I don't know. <laughs> she didn't oh, like that. The There's Kenzie's friend that. Avery. Say hi, Avery. Hi. What do you think of Rise of the Resistance? I best ride? Yes. I think it's my best ride. That was so much fun. But now let's head back over to the Millennium Falcon. We have a lightning lane slot time for our ride. So we have a little bit more time to kill. So now we are headed to Oga's Cantina. Yeah. Of note, Oga's is extremely popular, so it's really hard to get in if you just walk up. But the good news is we were able to make a reservation only 30 minutes out, and when your slot time comes up, you can get in line and get into Oga's pretty quickly. Our time is here. Let's head in. Going in Oga's Cantina. Of note, the cantina only serves drinks and some light appetizers, which are good for just a little snack. When it's really busy, they do limit your time here and they will only serve you two rounds. So you're not going to spend a lot of time here, but it's a nice break from the heat if it's hot outside, and it's definitely worth checking out to relax and try some pretty unique refreshments. Want to know where boba comes from? Right there. Oh, it's like a frog thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is Oga's Cantina, and it's usually really hard to get a reservation, but we were all able to get in and sit at the same time. What's up, Austin? There's a frog. No. All right, let's get something to drink. What are you guys getting? Uh, the what are you going to get? I don't, I don't know. I don't have the menu. Oh. I recommend at some point taking a spin around the cantina. There's some really cool things to see. And all the drinks are made to order, which is fun to watch as well. I have six Jedi Mind tricks. Well, it looks like we definitely liked our drinks, can you tell? We all had a fun time at Oga's and definitely recommend checking it out. But it's time for another ride. Fast and Furious in Oga's Cantina. How was that? You got in? That was okay. My drink was Yeah, it wasn't super crowded, but now we're gonna check out Smuggler's Run, Millennium Falcon. Let's do this. Hey! No. On the way over to the ride, the kids were lucky enough to spot Ray and had to stop and talk to her for a bit. Now it's time to head inside for the ride. So we are in Smuggler's Run, the Millennium Falcon at Galaxy's Edge. Our whole group is here. Purple team, have a seat at the table. Mr. Oh, yeah. 
We were lucky enough to ride this ride multiple times. On this go, the kids wanted to ride together, the moms wanted to ride together, so us dads were left to our own crew. The goal of this ride is to complete a mission with your crew, and each person has a different job. All right, so what do we figure out? We got pilot, pilot left, right, Daniel, pilot, left, right, Bobby, pilot, up, down, Damon, gunner, and I'm gunner, and we're gonna fly the crap out of this balloon. No engineers. No engineers. Nothing to fix. Yay, yay, yay. All right, we are going into this. and supervise young ladies. Oops, we got a little scolding, but could you tell we had so much fun on this ride, it was awesome. Okay, we had one more go at it, and this time it was just the kids and I. And I must admit, the kid crew did a lot better than the dad crew. And we had just as much fun, this ride never gets old. And this is one of my favorite rides here at Galaxy Edge. How'd you think that ride was, dude? This is Andrew. One of our good friends. And what were you, a pilot, a gunner? I was the pilot. The pilot. I didn't get to do much. Didn't get to do much? Well, we're going to ride it again, but what did Avery get to do? Were you a pilot or a gunner? I was a pilot, and I was a really bad pilot. You crashed. Because I, I, was, I, was, I was going like the side to side. Yeah, it's kind of, hey, if you haven't flown the Millennium Falcon before, it's kind of hard. What about Taryn? What did Taryn get to do? Taryn was a gunner, and she's just yeah. A gunner? I shot some. Taryn shot some stuff out of the I, sky. I just like what held the boy down. That's what well, that's one of the best rides, I think. I think, for sure. Yes. All right, what are we going to go do next? I want to Jungle Cruise Haunted Mansion. I want to do Jungle All right, I think we're going to do Jungle Cruise Haunted Mansion. And the bobsled. It's only like 7 o'clock right now. We're going to stay here until like what time? Midnight. Midnight? All right, we got more stuff to do tonight. All right, you heard the kids. We've got another five hours to go. So after snapping some pics with Chewie and the Millennium Falcon, it was on to the rest of the park for some more rides. These kids were non-stop and it was a lot of fun. We shut down the park and of course, as always, on the way out, we had to stop by and get that last churro. Family, so we're coming to a close. We did four days at two different parks. We did Disneyland, California Adventure, Disneyland, California Adventure. And then each day we spent 10 to 15 hours at the park and it was amazing. Yeah, every day our feet hurt at the end of the day and we we're pretty tired, but uh, after a little bit of rest, we we're back up ready to do it again the next day. And had so much fun. We were here with a group of 15 of all of our friends and family. So they are like professional uh, Disneyland and Disney yeah. World uh, revelers. So it was good uh, hanging out with them and trying to keep up. We did for most of the time, but they still outdid us on a couple of the days. They did. But we did shut down the park last night um, at midnight. Can you believe that? But we got some rides in at the end. And as always, what did we do at the end? We ran and got churros. It was a lot of fun as always. Would you do it again, kids? Yes! Yeah, of it course. 100%. It wasn't a grind for me. It was just fun. <laughs> All right, but we got a little bit of time left before we leave, so we're going to head back to one of the parks and meet up with our friends and family and try to get some rides in before we uh, head back. Definitely. After sneaking in a couple more rides, it was time to head home. But here's a sneak peek at our next episodes when we're going to show you all about Disney's California Adventure and our must-know Disney tips and tricks. Make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram at American Travel Family and also check out our website at americantravelfamily.com. And that's a wrap on our Spring Break Disneyland Adventure. Peace out. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures!
Child down, child down. Oh no, oh. Baby Yoda's down, oh, no. Baby Yoda's down. Someone lost their Baby Yoda. No, be careful.